Hello my dear students and viewers welcome to my channel Scorpio class in this video we are going to discuss class 9 political science and it is the revised syllabus of 2022 and yes we are going to discuss the question and answers of the chapter the union government so this video is going to be very helpful and informative for you all so stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it and my dear viewers if you want all the other notes of history lessons and political science it is available in the channel the link of the playlist will be shared in the description box and you will find all the videos over there you will also get the link in the i button above so you can click and watch the watch all the videos now let's move ahead but before that if you are watching my channel for the first time do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos now let's get started with our first main fill in the blanks with suitable words first one india is a union of dash answer is states next the union legislature is called dash answer is parliament next the chairman of the rajya sabha is the dash answer is vice president next one has to complete dash years to become a member of the lok sabha answer is 25 next the commander in chief of the three armed forces is the dash answer is the president next the process for electing the president is explained under articles dash and dash of the constitution answer is articles 54 and 55 next the chairman of the union public service commission is appointed by dash answer is the president so with this we finish our first main that is fill in the blanks now let's move ahead with second main answer the following questions the first question is name the two houses of the parliament answer the two houses of the parliament are lok sabha and rajya sabha next explain the composition of the rajya sabha answer the composition of the rajya sabha are as follows the number of seats in the rajya sabha is 250 of which 238 members are elected by the members of the state assemblies and union territories the remaining 12 members who are experts from various fields like literature art science and social work are nominated by the president this house is also known as the house of elders the rajya sabha is a permanent body and is not dissolved like the lok sabha the term of the members is 6 years next what are the qualifications needed to become a member of the lok sabha answer the qualifications needed to become a member of the lok sabha are one should be a citizen of india it must not be less than 25 years he should not hold any office of profit under the government should not be a person of unsound mind should not have been punished under the law should possess qualifications as specified by parliament from time to time next question explain the election process for the post of president answer the election process for the post of president the president is elected by an electoral college of elected members of both houses of parliament all elected members of the legislative assemblies of all states new delhi and pondicherry 
the supreme court judge administers him the oath of office his term of office is 5 years he is eligible for re-election he can be removed from office by the parliament through a motion of impeachment next question list out the powers of the prime minister answer the powers of the prime minister are appointment and removal of ministers and allocation of portfolios the prime minister recommends to the president the appointment of ministers to the council of ministers he also allocates the various portfolios among the ministers his decision is final in the allocation, allocation of portfolios next is head of government the prime minister is responsible for all actions of the government he coordinates the activities of the various ministers next point is head of union cabinet the meetings of the union cabinet are held under the chairmanship of the prime minister all discussions of issues of national and international importance are discussed and decisions are taken under his chairmanship next question explain the composition of the union cabinet and its responsibilities answer the composition of the union cabinet and its responsibilities are the union cabinet is the real executive and has ministers in two hierarchies the first one is the cabinet level and the second is the ministers of state the maximum strength of the union cabinet is 15% of the total strength of the parliament the cabinet has two kinds of responsibilities the minister of every department is responsible for the administration of his department he has individual responsibility for the success or failure of his department the union cabinet has collective responsibility to the parliament with regard to the decisions and policies taken by it with this question answers we come to an end of the notes of this chapter i hope this answers were informative and helpful for you all if you found the video helpful and if you liked it do hit the like button and share it with your friends to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos